Texas. Fire! 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 Please tell me you about it. But I think that's an you just for go. The way you hold the microphone, eh? <laughs> you fall in love with it. Amen. All right, so you're welcome again to Power of Worship International. Power of Worship International. I didn't hear it very well, especially those at the back. Power of Worship International. Testimony City. Now, there, there are two reasons why I wanted to hear the Testimony City, and I'll share the reason. You know, um, a year ago today, the Lord did something great for me. And I happened to be at the Testimony City, so I'm also sharing my testimony. And this is not part of um, our program outline here. You know, after the first, after my first born, um, on and on and on and on, one, two, three, four, five, six years, there was no baby coming again. And you start growing frustrated. Um, you start thinking about what is going on. You don't know what to do. Like, you've tried all your ways and means. You don't get it. And lo and behold, we came across this wonderful man of God called Prophet Daniel Amwatin. Can we give a hands of applause for him? And... Um, after meeting the prophet of the house, he gave us some direction. You know, Pastor Nee was just leading us to pray about fire. And the sort of fire in the house, eh? You know, when we met the man of God, he gave my wife some direction. And, you know, the direction was so simple. Because how we were so much in need of our second born, we were thinking that after bringing the direction, the man of God was going to do some, you know, that thing that, you know, some of you, when you come around and the man of God just touches your oil and just fire, and you think, and one on one. Yes, of course, and one on one. Because what he has done, the sort of fire we have in the man of God, he does not need to do any acrobatics. You understand? He just said a word on our direction, and that is it. And one thing that I learned from my wife was so much touching. You know, there was one of these days after the man of God um, prayed on our direction. I went home after service, and when I went home, <laughs> she was on the bed. And Wafoto and Kolanta Dina Ode and Tumaku Bibria Shim. And now, what she said, so when you get there, on the first morning, on another center, and now, you all know Baba won't know that leader. Hey, Tomaji and Panafa. The baby was not yet in, but she believed what the man of God has said on her. She believed what God has said through the man of God. So she was already sleeping with the baby. So I had to look for a different room. Yes, of course. And the picture is with Pastor Nee. I went home and I'm like, <laughs> Pastor Nee, it's 11 o'clock, but <laughs> this is what I'm seeing. And I sent it to him. And it was two months after she carried it. <laughs> Amen. So some of us, when we get the directions and we get all these things, let us have the faith back in it. Because we are not called the testimony city for the sake of the name. What is happening here? Everybody is supposed to get part of the testimony. Amen. And cutting it short, exactly a year today, tomorrow is actually the birthday, but it happened on Wednesday. So I called my baby, wow baby. Because on the Wednesday, I had a baby girl. And that girl is so much adorable. You know, you see, when God is giving you something, he just does not give you, okay, God, I wanted a baby, so he is giving me a baby. He gave me a baby. This girl worked at the age, uh, at the month of eight. Eight months. The last time she was in church, but, uh, so my miss, uh, one nante, um, so one nante kwada, one nante kwada, one riyampu no nante. You see, God gave you the child and gave you a strong child. So we are not called the testimony city for nothing. So please, when you come here, get into the atmosphere. You understand? There are a lot of things here that you need to carry. Your jobs, your money, your marriages, your babies, everything. Amen. Let us call our sister Faith to give us the announcement. Amen. Oh, let's give it up for her, please. You know, she, she, she does it so well. Amen. Power of Worship International. If you know you are glad to be in the house of the Lord, give the Lord a shout. <laughs> On behalf of Prophet Daniel Amwatin, we would like to extend warm welcome to those visiting for the first time. 
Please know that your coming here will not be in vain, and God will meet you at the point of your need. This is a place of restoring lives and destinies. 2019 is our year of divine elevation and establishment. March is our amount of power. Our church services as follows. Every Tuesday is our dunamis hour. The time is 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Every Wednesday is our wow service, Wednesday of the Word and Warfare at 6 p.m. Saturday morning, prophetic and miracle service at 7 a.m. The team is let my gates open. And when you come for this service, every gate that is shut before you will be open in the name of Jesus. Sunday morning worship service at 8 a.m. The team is next level word explosion service. First Friday of every month is our power all night at 9 p.m. It's the night of divine encounter and fulfillment. Every first Sunday of every month is our communion service. Please take note of the following announcements. The women meet every first and last Thursday of the month. The men meet every second Friday of the month. The youth meet on the second Thursday of every month. All titles will be prayed for and anointed at the end of every month. Our Father will be praying for all birthday people at the end of every month as well. Do you desire to speak in tongues? If yes, then here comes a special organized Holy Ghost baptism service for you once every two months. Saturday, 27th April will be our second Holy Ghost baptism. Please, if you want to be baptized by water, kindly see Pastor Robert and register your name for the next batch of the baptism, baptismal class, which, be, which already began in March. Every national holiday will be having a church service. The time is 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Please, there is a suggestion box placed at the back. So if you have any message you want the man of God to preach, or any suggestion about the church, or any pledge, please place it there. Please, members who have testimonies, thanksgiving, or want special prayers by the pastors, and prayer warriors be attended to by the ministers on the first floor of our office within the first one hour of the start of every service or after service. Nursing mothers should kindly sit at the back because of their children. Please, if you are interested in any of the messages preached, after the service, kindly go to the media team and get it with your phone, your pen drive, or any devices. Thank you. Are you a registered member of the church? If no, kindly see the media team right after church and they will help you. Members should kindly note that eating and littering the auditorium, especially sticking chewing gum, chewing gum under chairs and on the carpet during and after service is prohibited. This is the house of God, therefore it should be kept clean always and respected. All men are to kindly note that the urinal tab in the washroom will always be left on with the water flowing during service hours. Therefore, please, no one should turn it off. God bless you even as you obey this. Kindly take note of the following programs. Please, we are entreated to bring a bottle of water and place it on the altar. So if you have not done, yes, you can actually do that today. Members who are planning on getting married should kindly inform the church four months before the marriage through the Family Enrichment Ministry. Our Easter convention stands on Wednesday, 17th April to Sunday, 21st April, 2019. We will be meeting 6 p.m. each night on Wednesday, Thursday, and Good Friday, 7 a.m. on Saturday, and 8 a.m. on Easter Sunday. We will be having two weeks photo and name conference from Sunday, 24th March to Sunday, 7th April, 2019. The theme is, Oh Lord, preserve my name and my photo. Our major conference for the year, which is Next Level Conference, comes off from Sunday 26th May to Sunday 2nd June 2019. The team is no more limits, and the time is 6 p.m. each night. Members are kindly to take note of the following counseling days and times. Sundays, counseling for the committed members and church workers. Time, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Tuesdays, counseling for anyone. The time is 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Thursday, counseling for those returning directions. The time is 3 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. To be able to see Papa on any of these days, members are required to book appointments within the first one hour of, of the start of every service, except on Wednesday when booking ends at 7.30 p.m. The location is the first floor of our offices. The charge to us this year, 2019, from our father as follows. Operation Bring Ten Souls to Church this year. It can be a colleague at work, your neighbor, someone you met on the street. Operation Own Your Land and Start Construction. Buy a land and start the construction. Our father encourages us to do a good investment this year. You can see Auntie Abinafa and advice, and as well as register with an investment company. 
Our Father entreats us to upgrade ourselves in whatever field of work or occupation that we are in now. It could be going back to school or furthering uh, education. Our Father admon admonishes us to make sure we are in church on all our service days, especially on every Sunday. Let all, us, let all kindly know that we'll be breaking the grounds for our Ultramodern Cathedral this year. So let us all get ready to joyfully support in the building of the house of the Lord. Amen. Have a fruitful night and a successful week. Stay blessed. Oh, please, you can do it better. All right, Sister Faith, God bless you so much. Now, um, about our next level conference, um, a little bit correction here. She only did mention of the 6 p.m. And it's a conference that we come here in the morning and the evening section. So we come here in the morning. We have the next level men and the next level women. So it's something that, as our father always says, that just get time for yourself. Just, you know, we have from now to the date. Just get yourself the leave. So you start filing for your leave so that you have enough time. Because a lot of miracles happened last year. And that was the first time we were doing it here. So imagine the second time. People were sitting outside and so on and so forth. So just make sure that um, you, you note that we have the next level men and next level women. All right. So let's call our papa to um, the stage right now. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Oh, clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Power of Worship International. Oh, I can't feel somewhere. Power of Worship International. The Testimony City. Power of Worship International. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Just open your mouth. Don't ask anything from God. Open your mouth and Rapa, thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Open your hands and bless talaba. his holy name. Rapa, worship him. God has been great. God has been so great to you. God has been so great to you. God has been so great to you. Bless the name of the Lord. 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 Bless the name of the and for my destiny and for my destiny i thank you i thank you for giving me for giving me victory victory by your grace by your grace by your power by your power may you empower me may you empower me with your grace with your grace and your goodness and with your goodness in jesus name in jesus name somebody clap your hands to the name Woo! oh i said clap your hands Woo! if you know your hands belong to you clap your hands Clap your hands and bless the name of the Lord. You can't clap your hands without shouting. You can't clap your hands without shouting. Shout that the loudest. You'll be the first person to speak. Amen. Amen. Slap your neighbor high five and say, My neighbor. My neighbor. Get ready. Get ready. Something good. Something good. Is happening. It's happening. Somebody listen to me. The month of March is called our month of power. That's right. The whole month of January, we worked on Mephibosheth. That's right. How Zeba, we destroyed the power of Zeba, how to enter into your next level. Then from February, for six weeks, we dealt with dreams and the interpretation. That's right. And this time to the end of the month, we are working on power. Say power. Power. Say power. Power. Listen to me. No matter who you are, you need power. That's right. There are different forms of power. We have black or white. One type is white. One type is black. Some people are going for black. Some people are looking for white. But let me tell you the good news. The white one is always bigger than the black one. Some of you, the way you are clapping. So this month, this month we are dealing with receiving power from on high. That's right. It says, after the Holy Spirit comes, you shall receive power. So you can't be a Christian with the Holy Spirit and become powerless. That's right. If the power of the Holy Spirit is on you, Wherever you enter, doors will begin to open for you. Amen. Listen, when you carry power, it's not any place you are supposed to go. Right. You can sit somewhere and can give order and it will happen. Amen. Listen, has a Kufuado come to maybe, since he even became the president, has he even passed on the sprinters road before? Maybe you have not seen it. But he can sit at the Flagstaff house and just speak to a police officer on the sprinters road and tell the officer, go and do this one. Although 
Akufuado is at the Flagstaff house. By his word from the Flagstaff house, he can command something to be done on the Spinter's road. Right. So you too, you carry power. So you can sit in your house and you can command some transactions to take place. Right. Oh, sir, power! Power! Move away from your seat and go to two people and, and tell them, receive power, receive power. Receive power. Receive oh, go to power. many people and tell them, receive power. Receive power. Receive oh. power. Power and might belongs to our God forever and ever. Amen. Power and might. Power and might belongs, belongs to our God. somewhere and can just give one order and that one order will cause something to happen so when you carry power you don't need to be there when you speak something will happen so when you carry power when your children are going to school you speak in advance and declare any child there, any student who, who, who is a devil that wants to contaminate my child I block you from working you can sit in your area and declare, in my area and my atmosphere, it's called no fly zone. No witch or wizard will be able to fly you. Oh, 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 oh. You sit down and command some transactions and say, let some money locate me right now. Amen. Because you carry power. Shall power. Shall power. Power. Luke chapter 9. We're about to take the offerings very soon. Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9. Shall power. Power. So from the 24th, Luke chapter 9, verse 1. From the 24th up to the 7th of April, we are doing with the images convention. And everybody, from now to that time, bring your bottles of water with your name written on it. Amen. I think by the time we finish, the whole stage will be full of water. That's right. Amen. Look at it. He says, when Jesus has had called the twelve together, he gave them power. Oh, 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 oh. You don't you do you don't say power like the way as if you don't. Oh, uh, he, he called them and gave them power. He gave them power and authority to do what? Drive out all demons and to cure diseases. If diseases and sicknesses are around you and demons are around you, it means you are not acting with your power. Somebody can have power, but they will not be able to act with it. But this month, month of power, 
I prophesy that the power you shall receive Jesus. shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall power. Power. There's a sermon I will preach in the course of this power series. And I'm showing you something right now. One, two, three, let's go. When Jesus had called the twelve together, he gave them power and authority. He called how many people? Twelve. And he gave them what? Power and authority. He called how many people? Twelve. And he gave them what? Power and authority. He, he, he called how many people? Twelve. He called how many people? Twelve. And he gave them what? Power and authority. He called how many people? Twelve. So he called twelve and gave them power and authority. In chapter 9, right? Let's see chapter, chapter 10. Chapter 10. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them two by two. Listen. Listen. He called 12 and gave them power. And after he called the 12, he called 72 and told them to go by no power. In chapter 9, he called them, gave them power, and sent them. But in chapter 10, he called 72. He only told them to go. He didn't give them power. Can I speak to somebody? Yes. When God wants to empower you, it's not about the number of people. God. Oh. Because listen, it means, it means, it means, it's not everybody. Who be able to handle power. So the 72 can handle power. But the 12 can handle power. I didn't come to many people here. I came to only 12 people here. Those who are part of the 12. They will shout and scream. Oh. Yeah. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. That's why powerful people in the world are only few. That's right. Because people are plenty. But they can't carry power. But the few, I pray that God will make you part of the few. Amen. This is another sermon for another day. Lift up your offerings. Lift up your offerings. We've done, we've not taken your offerings, right? Lift up your offerings. It's in the Bible. <laughs> the worry. They say, Prophet Daniel, what Bible do you read? It's the same Bible we all have. He called twelve. He gave them power. He called 72, he only sent them. Hmm. There are some people who, are, who have been sent with no power. Lift it up. That is the power that is working at the testimony city. For you to encounter and receive your miracle and your testimony. Somebody shall power. power. Lift up your offerings. Last Tuesday, which is yesterday, amazing, over seven different testimonies, amazing testimonies. One lady, she starts sitting over here. She says she had a mantle from the church and every day she will use the mantle in her face. And she knows that the mother-in-law is always causing trouble and harassment. But the mother-in-law doesn't stay in the house with her and the husband. But the mother-in-law will every morning call the husband and tell the lady's husband, you that your wife every day, she's taking some white something to clean her face. But this woman doesn't stay in the house. Ask your neighbor, how did she know? Ask your neighbor, how did she know? How did she know? Shall power. Power. She said, we tell it the, the husband, which is the woman's son, that your wife, that thing that she's been putting on her face. But she doesn't stay in the house. Tell somebody, somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching you. And because of the power. Because of the power, you will silence them. You will silence them. Offering declaration. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. Father Lord, I thank you for giving me the resources to be a giver in your kingdom. My offering is a sign of appreciation of, of your, your kindness, kindness towards, towards me. me. My offering will deliver me from crisis and trouble and will lead me to my place of peace and success. My enemies will bow before me today because I am a kingdom giver. I will always give, lend, and not be a beggar. I will, I will never lack in my, my life. life. I, I am, am blessed. blessed. Amen. Listen to me. No song. Come and drop it. No song. Come and drop it. You caught the thing in the atmosphere. Your own. When we say, no say no song. power be here, Jumane. Kalabu Shatakaya. Ah. 
Tell your neighbor, say my neighbor. My neighbor. Don't forget your stickers. Don't forget your stickers. Because they are working miracles. Because they are working miracles. One guy also testified on Tuesday. He said he's a driver. And he was driving somebody's car. Whilst driving, he, he parked to take passengers at a place that he's not supposed to be there. Then the police officer caught him. He said when the police officer caught him, he was in a big trouble because the car is not for him. He's doing spare. He said, there and then. And he, has, he says he has the chest sticker on, on top of his theory wheel. So he immediately put his head on the steering wheel and said, he said, he doesn't even know my name. So he said, that my sister's pastor, that my sister's pastor, that you are on this flyer today. If you don't help me, I'm done. Then he lifted up his head. I bless these offerings in Jesus name. Then he lifted up his head. After he lifted up his head, he said, the same police officer that has stopped him, wanting to arrest him, asked the guy, so why are you here? Come on, go, come on, go, come on, go, without taking one seat. Oh, can, oh, oh, oh. Is the brother here? He's not here today, that's your brother. He said, the police officer said, why have you parked here? Then, then he too told the police officer, sorry, I, I was buying kubi. I was buying coconuts. But it's the same police officer that stopped him. Oh, me and if, you, if your sticker is not behind your car right now, you are in big trouble. Make sure you stick it by your house, around your area. Dorinda also testified that she put the sticker under her pillow and slept. In the morning when she woke up, a bed was dead in the house. A bed was dead in the compound. Anybody that bed is supposed to die around you. Jesus. Listen to me. When you kill a human being, it is murder. But if you kill a bed, it's not murder. That's right. So any cat or dog bed that shows up because of the power, we crush it by now. Amen. So crush. Crush. Tell anybody you're untouchable. You are untouchable. Amen. Amen. On Saturday morning, we're going to do some special prayers. Then on Sunday, it's going to be amazing. Amen. Amen. By the grace of God. May you enjoy every testimony. Amen. Who oh, I said, may you enjoy every testimony. Amen. Listen, this testimony city, the testimony is not only for two people. Oh, or not only for seven people. It's for everybody. Amen. So when you come here, make sure you tap that testimony and receive it. Yes. Shout, I receive it. I receive it. And hear me too. There are some people too who can, who can come around you. They are not witches or they are no wizards. But the spirit behind them destroys things. I'm repeating again. Some people can come around you. They don't fly. They don't drink blood. They are not witches or wizards. But they have spirits following them. And those spirits following them destroys good things. So even if you try to help them, your money will finish. Has it happened to you before? That you made your mind to help somebody. Then all of a sudden your business collapsed. So what is behind them is the one fighting you. Me, I don't even need those people around me. So if anybody around us, something is following them, destroying it. Oh, let's fire separate the two of you. Amen. So fire. Fire. We're about to listen to the word of God. God has a word for us today. And hear me? Any word that comes from this altar, open your mouth and receive it. Most of you, when word is coming, you open your mouth and say, I receive it. Me, I don't say that. I say, I receive and swallow. Because if I don't receive and swallow, my neighbor will take it from me. That's right. So you receive it and swallow it as well. Amen. Amen. But be careful that you don't become pregnant. Because if you swallow, you become pregnant. Amen. Because Mary only became pregnant by the word that was given to her. By one word. That one is another message. She became pregnant by one word. There's a man here you are pregnant. Can I tell what you are pregnant with? 
of a new business venture, a new Jesus. business idea that God is about to give to you. Amen. So I am pregnant. I am pregnant. Two years ago, I preached a message in America that I captioned it, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. And I showed people that when you are pregnant, the best place you are supposed to be is supposed to be at the maternity clinic. So many people are pregnant, but they are not at the maternity pregnant, uh, clinic. If you are not there, you are in a big mess. What is the meaning? If you are pregnant with destiny, find yourself in the good environment. And the last point you ought to be when you are pregnant is at the labor ward. If you go to the hospital and they don't put you at the labor ward and you are pregnant, there is a big mess. Some of you, you are pregnant since the age of five years with destiny, but you are not at the labor ward. You are the prescription room. So because of that, everybody is messing you up. Some, some of you, you are pregnant, but still at the OPD. It's another message altogether. Amen. We have one man of God here who is about to release the word of God unto us. Jesus. And after that, I will come over. Amen. And listen to me. Open your heart and receive every word that is coming. I just feel, I just believe that somebody has a word. Amen. Amen. So everybody just stretch your hands on the altar and say, blessed be the man. Blessed be the man. Who comes in the name of the Lord. Who comes in the name of the Lord. Where's the person playing the organ? Good. You want to hear the word of God. Sit down there and hear the word of God over there. Play something on the background. Because I just feel something right now. If you are here last night, you really fought in your dream. Come to me now. Last night, you fought in your dream. Come to me now. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Walk to me now. Walk to me. 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 Come. Come. What kind of job have you done in your life? Retiredness. Midwife. Great. These people, tap the water. Tap the altar. Tap the altar. Tap the altar. And go and tap your seat. Jesus. And sit down. And after you tap your seat and, and you sit down, just declare, the victory belongs to me. Just do that. You said you killed somebody. You killed two people. They were dressed in a mask like soldiers. They came to your house and you killed them. Yeah. Then get ready for funeral. Amen. Get ready for funeral. Amen. Okay. Amen. Stretch your hands on the altar and say, Blessed be the man. Blessed be the man. Who comes in the name of the Lord. Who comes in the name of the Lord. Speak. Speak. Servant of God. Servant of God. And the children of God. And the children of God. Obey. Obey. With a standing ovation, Jesus. let's invite Pastor Richard to give us the word of God. Somebody clap your hands and bless the name of the Lord. Wow. 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 Power of Worship International. Testimony City. Testimony City. Power of Worship International. If that applause was for me, why don't you do it better for the King of Kings? Woo! And the Lord of Lords tonight. Oh, are you clapping unto the Lord? Yes. Are you clapping unto the Lord? Yes. Listen to me. From January up to now, today is on the 3rd or 13th of wow. 13th of and the number of people that has been buried now that's you have no idea that's right so if god has protected you protected you from january up to the 13th of march See, look at look at the way you are clapping for the lord Woo! look at the way you are clapping for the lord look at the way you are clapping for the lord yes amen amen papa we honor you and we salute you tonight come on give it up for our father the spiritual father that's right the man who we are all under his covering tonight that's come right. on let's give it up for him Woo! Papa, we honor and we celebrate you tonight amen amen and i would like to use this opportunity also to celebrate all the pastors in the house i mean give it give it up for the pastors and also clap for yourself for making it to church tonight right. amen you may please take your seats Tonight, I'm going to speak on 
Tonight, I'm going to speak shortly and we are going to pray. Amen. Amen. Turn to your neighbor. Say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Say, any door. Any door. That must open. That must open. For you. For you. That is refusing. That is refusing. To open. To open. Say, tonight. Tonight. By the power. By the power. And the spirit. And the spirit. Of God. Of God. Upon my life. Upon my life. We command. We command. The doors. The doors. To open. To open. To open. To open. To open. To open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, are you here? Yes. Listen, tonight the way you I mean respond back to me will give me much more energy to preach and bless you. That's right. You understand? Yes. If I look at your face and you make me feel nervous, I'll not be touched to bless you. That's right. You understand? Yeah, and and <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let's open our Bible to the book of Ezekiel chapter 11. Ezekiel chapter 11. Pastor Robert, help me. Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 1. Let's go. Please give me the King James. Let's go. Okay. Can we please be on our feet for the reading of the word of God? Amen. Amen. Pastor Ezekiel, let's go. Pastor Robert. Moreover, the spirit lifted me up uh -huh. and brought me onto the east gate. Say the east gate. The east gate. The Bible said, and the wise men saw the star of Jesus from the east. This morning, tonight I pray and I prophesy for you that any blessing from the east, let it come upon you. Amen. If Jesus star appeared from the east and wise men saw it and they brought him gold, tonight I prophesy in the name of Jesus, let the blessings of the east come upon you. Amen. Let the blessings of the east come upon you. Amen. Okay, let's go. Unto the east gate of the Lord's house, uh -huh. which looks eastward uh -huh. and behold at the door of the gate five and twenty men five and twenty men okay let's go among whom i saw jazaniah among whom i saw jazaniah the son of azur the son of azur and pilatia and pilatia the son of bena and the son of bena princes of the people princes of the people verse number two then said he unto me then said he unto me son of man son of man these are the men that devise mischief these are the men that devise mischief and give wicked counsel in this city and give wicked counsel to this city yes. next verse which say which say it is not near it is not near let us build houses let us build houses this city is the cauldron this city is the cauldron and we be the flesh and we be the flesh and we be the flesh amen amen please be seated amen amen listen to me Life is a series of open doors. Say open doors. Open doors. Say to your neighbor. Say my neighbor. My neighbor. Life. Life. It's a series. It's a series. Of open doors. Of open doors. So in other words, I believe that if you want to get married, a door must open for you to get married. That's right. If you want to do a business transaction, I believe that a door must open for you to do that business what transaction. If you want to travel to America, I also believe that a door must open for you to travel towards America. So life is a series of open doors. That's right. Amen. Amen. And in every institution, hear me very carefully. And in every institution, it is governed by laws. Say laws. Laws. Every institution is governed by laws. And when you read this scripture, please take me to verse number two. Pastor Robert, let's go. Then said he unto me. Then said he unto me. Son of man. Son of man. These are the men that devise mischief. These are the men that devise mischief and give wicked counsel to this city. That's right. Next verse. Which say. Which say. It is not near. It is not near. Let us build houses. Let us build houses. So in other words, life is a series of open doors. And these men have given wicked counsel to the city that it is not time for a door or anything to open for somebody. Jesus. Amen. Amen. That is why I said that life is a series of open doors. That's right. And before a door will open for you, I believe that something must happen for you in order for that door to open for you. That's right. Amen. Amen. And these men have given a law and a decree and have said that this city is a cauldron, and the cauldron they, they have turned the whole city into a port. So let's say, for instance, the whole city of Spintus, 25 men are governed by the 
are governed by the the, the city. Amen. Amen. And these 25 men have given a declaration and have given a law that nobody in this city will be able to build a house. Nobody will be able to do anything out of this city because of the law and the decree that they have passed. But tonight I prophesy, Jesus, and I declare, any law that is operating in your father's house, Jesus, any law that is operating in your mother's house, Jesus, that is fighting against you, tonight let the laws be broken. Amen. Tonight let the laws be broken. Amen. Tonight let the laws be broken. Amen. 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 So this man has made a declaration and has said and has placed a demand and has placed an embargo and an injunction on the city and have said that nobody in this city will be able to build a house. So I want to ask a question. Who is the gatekeeper of your family? Who is the watchman of your house? Amen. Amen. Because in this city, 25 men, they control the whole city. And they have made a law and a decree. And they have said that nobody will be able to build a house out of this city. So in your father's house and in your mother's house, who are the gatekeepers of that house? Who controls the gates of your father's house? Tell to your neighbor, say my neighbor. My neighbor. Who controls the gate? Who controls the gate? Of your father's house. Of your father's house. Or your mother's house. Or your mother's house. Controls the life. Controls the life. And the destinies. And the destinies. Amen. Amen. So this is what it means. Because these men are the gatekeepers of the city. They have said that nobody will be able to build a house or nobody will be able to do anything. So it means that these men, they control the city and the gates. So I don't know who is controlling the city and the gates of your father's house. And also, do you know that anybody who controls the gate and the city, they control their lives and their destiny. And they determine what should come in and what should go out. That's right. You understand? Yes. Because these 25 men, the whole city belongs to them. So they control everything that is in the city. So if your money is coming, because they are the gatekeepers of the family, they can see the money and they will collect it from you. Jesus. If they see that your marriage is coming or your miracle is coming, because they are the gatekeepers of the city, they see it's coming and they collect it from you. Right. Because they are the gatekeepers of the, whole, of the city. And who controls the gates and the city? determines what should come in and what must come out that's right so what if the one controlling the city and the gates of your family is an evil man what if that person is an evil man say father father in the name of jesus in the name of jesus say tonight tonight any evil man any evil man or woman or woman controlling controlling the gates the gates of my family of my family whoever whoever that person is that person i call down i call down fire fire to crush them 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 amen amen listen these 25 men, they control the gates and the city. 25 men controlling one city. And go to the verse number one. Pastor Robert, let's go. Moreover, the spirit lifted me up uh -huh. and brought me unto the east gate uh -huh. of the Lord's house, uh -huh. which looks eastward. Uh -huh. And behold, at the door of the gate, five and twenty men, uh -huh. among whom I saw Jazaniah, uh -huh. the son of Azur, uh -huh. and Pilatia, the son of Beniah, uh -huh. princes of the people. Princes of the people. So this also for this man, they were not ordinary men. Who, these were men, they were even rich. Because when the Bible says that princes of the city, they were not ordinary men. Who, That's right. So it means that we have good men in our city today. They drive big cars, but they are evil men. That's right. And they control the city and the life of people. But tonight, any evil man who wants to control your church, Jesus. Any evil man who wants to control your marriage, Jesus. Any evil man who wants to control your life, Jesus. Tonight we kill them. Amen. 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 
Amen. Amen. Please come with me to the book of Jeremiah 25. Jeremiah 35. Verse number 5. Okay. Verse 5. Quickly. Pastor Robert, let's go. And I set before the sons of the house of the Rechabites. Uh -huh. And I set before the sons of the house of the Rechabites. Pots full of wine. Pots full of wine. And cups. And cups. And I said unto them, uh -huh. Drink ye wine. Okay, next verse. But they said, But they said, We will drink no wine. We will drink no wine. For Jonadab the son of Rechab. For father, Jonadab the son of Rechab, our father, commanded us, saying, Let's go. Ye shall drink no wine. Ye shall drink no wine. Neither ye. Neither ye. Nor your sons forever. Nor your sons forever. Verse 7. Watch this. Neither shall ye build house. Neither shall ye build houses. So, number one. A commandment has been made. A decree has been made in their house. That nobody should drink wine. And nobody should build a house. So, what law is running through your family that you don't know? And listen to me whether you believe it or not you come from a background that's right and there are some laws and there are some things operating in the family and as a christian you have to know so you ask yourself that why am i struggling i am a lady i am beautiful any man comes into my life and wants to marry me but at the particular time in my life when the marriage is coming on and then the marriage will go back somebody has made a law in the family Right. And tonight, whoever made that law, Jesus, whether the person is dead, Jesus, or whether the person is alive, Jesus, by fire, by thunder, Jesus, we command the laws to break. Amen. 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 Those who are putting seed on the altar. May it happen for you. Amen. I said, let it happen for you. Amen. I said, let it happen for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This is a demonic law that's right that has been established this is a demonic law that has been established and tonight whoever made that law jesus tonight whether the person is dead jesus we enter into the person's grave jesus we enter into the person's grave jesus and we slap the person amen we slap the person amen we slap the person amen. we slap the person amen. and we break the law amen Amen. 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 By fire. Listen to me. So, Papa, because the laws have been made and has been established, eh? If you want to break the law or you want to do something about it, now call it someone you know more too many And they come after you. And they come after you. That's right. You understand? A law has been established. So you as a child of God, when you begin to discover certain things going on in the family, say, ah, I didn't know how to do it. All of a sudden, then you come down. And there are some families that the laws are, are such that no matter how higher you go, they will allow you to go up, but when you get to the pinnacle stage of your life, and then they will shoot you to come down, bam! And rising up becomes very difficult. That's right. But tonight we don't care who made the law. Jesus. I said we don't care who made the law. Jesus. I said we don't care who made the law. Jesus. But what I believe is that tonight the law shall be broken. Amen. I said the law shall be broken. Amen. I said the law shall be broken. Amen. Amen. Uh huh. Okay. Continue. And he said, oh, Pastor, Robert, Pastor Robert, let's go. No sow seed, nor plant vineyard, uh -huh. nor have any. Uh -huh. But all your days ye shall dwell in tents. All your days ye shall dwell in tents. So, so it means that in your life, who the day in the only day, who is it? Who be a chaser? No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. Hear me, hear me. Look at what happened to these people. Uh, I'm talking about the Burkina Faso. It's a message. Look at look at the way they are living. Their forefathers came there many many years ago, so they should have been able to even possess the land and even possess more lands. But what if it has been set in their house? You can never build a house. You'll be a squatter to the rest of your life. And the, the Bible is saying that all the days of your life you will live in tents and you will live as stranger. 
Say, God forbid. God forbid. That is not my portion. That is not my portion. Say, I will prosper. I will prosper. I will shine. I will shine. I will excel. I will excel. I will make it. I will make it. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, I declare. I declare. By the power. By the power. And the spirit. And the spirit. Of God. Of God. Upon my life. Upon my life. I enter. I enter. Into my father's house. Into my father's house. Into my mother's house. Into my mother's house. Say, oh God. Oh God. Any demonic. Any demonic. Lost. Lost. Or bloody. Or bloody. In the family. In the family. Fighting. Fighting. Again. Again. My future. My future. My destiny. My destiny. Say, by power. By power. By fire. By fire. By power. By power. By fire. I, I, I command. I command. The loss. The loss. Break. 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 Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, I am coming out. 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 Listen. Listen. You cannot say you are coming out and you are standing where you are. That's right. You must make a move. That's right. You must make an act. Jesus. You can't say you are coming out and you are standing where you are. That's right. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the demonic law. In the demonic law. In my father's house. In my mother's house. In my mother's house. In my fire. In my prayer. I am coming out. I am coming out. I am coming out. I step 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 out. Amen. I told you that when you give me more morale, you will stir me up to preach. That's right. Because mind you, today is my first time preaching. That's right. Because say hi. Hey. Say hi. Hey. Tonight you break through. Amen. Listen. Listen. I said tonight you will break through. Amen. Anything you are looking for, you will find it. Amen. Anything you are looking for, you will receive it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hi. Hi. Am I preaching? Preach, Richard. Say, preach. Preach. Son of Daniel. Son of Daniel. I am trying my best. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So the laws has been established. The laws has been established in a family. And Papa, do you know the sad thing is that a lot of people are in families and they don't even know the law that is operating in the family. That is a sad thing. Say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Do you know the law? Do you know the law? Do you know the history? Do you know the history of your family? Of your family? What is it? What is it? Listen to me. When I was growing up as a young man, I began to discover certain things in my family. I began to discover certain things. And when I realized them, and as a young man, I began to pray and I began to fast. I saw that every attack be a mission and a problem so. Because one thing about the loss is that nobody should plant vineyards and nobody should build houses, but at the rest of your life, live in tents. So it means that when you discover some of these, these secrets, and you begin to work it and say, say, me and my family, this law, there are some families here or something. The laws that operate in the family is premature death. That's right. Say premature death. Premature death. So when you get to the flower of your age, when you are supposed to shine, when you are supposed to soar, and when they see you going, they fire an arrow against you. That's right. They fire an arrow against you. And I'll show you right now. Come with me to the book of First Samuel chapter 2 verse 33. Pastor Robert, let's go. And the man of thine. And the man uh -huh. whom I shall not cut off from my altar. Whom I shall not cut off from my altar. Shall be to consume thine eyes. Shall be to consume thy eyes. And to grieve thine heart. And to grieve thy what? Heart. And to grieve thy what? Heart. Okay, let's go. 
and all the increase of your house shall die in the flower of their age what and all the increase of your house shall die at the flower of your age flower papa is giving us interpretation of flower that flower means prime when you when you get to the prime stages of your life where you are making money where you are succeeding where you are enjoying and when you get to that level they and begin to fight you are you ready to fight it and ivy let's go quickly let's go and ivy the same scripture and ivy pastor robert let's go 33 okay let's go every one of you that i do not cut off from my altar so it means that any because they have made the law they have an altar like this and the altar that is where they stand to monitor everybody's destiny in the family you understand let me let's say for instance i am standing here at the altar and as i'm standing on the altar i can see everybody's face and in everybody's father's house there is a demonic altar in the house and there is a witch and there's a wizard in the family monitoring the altar and who is that person tonight we will kill them amen i said tonight we will kill them amen you understand so they stand at the altar and they said that i will not cut you off from the altar but watch the pastor Robert, let's go will be spared only to blind your eyes with tears and to grieve your heart hold on you will be only be, be what you'll be spared they'll blind your eyes so in other words i didn't know you can't even see it by anything it will take God by revelation for you to know. That's right. But tonight we declare Jesus. by the spirit of revelation, Jesus. We uncover your secret. Amen. I say we uncover your secret. Amen. I say we uncover your secret. Amen. But all right, let's go. And all your descendants will die in the prime of life. And all your descendants will die. So it means that when you are the first person, when they succeed and they kill you, then they are coming and they are looking for your son. It's on my chair, opening me at the stage, not or enjoy, and then they will cut him off. That's right. Ask your neighbor, my neighbor, my neighbor, which law, which law is operating, is operating in your family, in your family that you have, that you have no idea about, no idea about. Listen, I don't know which law that is operating in your family. Today is exactly one year, Papa. I lost my mother, and the whole day I have been very, very sad when I saw Pastor Smee. Your text message, Pastor Neil called me last night. I couldn't pick up. And when I saw his text message, I said, Amen. Amen. So I went to the office today, did what I need to do. Also, about four o'clock, I'm starting to say, "Bomb paya koroba sante nebri antelebe akin talaba paya apari apoa atun talaba ra pa 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 iya palaba pa iya palaba pa I prophesy, Jesus. I prophesy, I prophesy. You break through, Amen. you make it, Amen. you succeed, Amen. you prosper, Amen. you shine. Amen. Please come with me to First Samuel chapter 18, verse number 7. This is my last scripture, and then we enter into prayer. First Samuel chapter 18, verse 7 and 8, and then we'll pray from here. Pastor Robert, let's go. Please give me the King James quickly. And the woman answered one another. As and they the played. women answered one another as, as they, they played. Uh huh. And said and said Saul has slain his thousands Saul has slain his what thousands Saul has slain his what thousands okay let's go and David his ten thousands uh-huh next verse and Saul was very wroth and Saul was very what wroth Saul was very what wroth uh-huh let's go and the saying displeased him and they say this what displeased and they say this what pleased him okay you saw you are a king and you have had your time and you have ruled. And there is a young man God is raising. Say David. David. Say, Oh God. Oh God. Make me. Make me. The David. The David. The record. The record. Breaker. Breaker. The destiny. The destiny. Changer. Changer. The life. The life. Changer. Changer. In my family. In my family. Powerful. So, David, you have had your time and you have. I mean, you've had your time. It's like you being voted into power and you come on 
the seed and you begin to misbehave. Near day, near two or three years so. Amen. Amen. So Saul has had his term and has been evicted out. Say out. Out. But there is something about this scripture. Say something. Something. Say something. Something. Say something. Something. Tonight God will show you something. Amen. I said tonight God will show you something. Amen. And that will be a good thing. Amen. I said it will be a good thing. Amen. I said it will be a good thing. Amen. Amen. So to cut the long story short, Saul was supposed to kill David. Okay? Saul was the one who was supposed to kill David. Goliath. Say God punish the devil. God punish the devil. Say God punish the devil. God punish the devil. So Saul was the one who was supposed to kill what? Goliath. But somewhere, somehow, he couldn't kill who? Goliath. Somewhere, say somewhere, somehow. Somewhere, somehow. You will kill your enemies. Kill, I will kill my enemies. Say any enemy. Any enemy. Any devil. Any devil. That is looking for my life. That is looking for my life. Say somewhere, somehow. Somewhere, somehow. I will be the one. I will be the one. To kill them. To kill them. Jesus. So somewhere, somehow, David was the one who killed Goliath. Amen. Amen. So if I were to be Saul, the battle that you were supposed to fight, and this young man has fought your battle for you, why are you coming after him? Say, oh God, oh God, anyone, anyone around my life, around my life, operating, operating with the spirit, with the spirit of jealousy, of jealousy, fighting, fighting against my life. Against my life. Say, oh God, oh God, I command, I command, fire, fire, to crush them, to crush them, to crush them, to crush them, to crush them. To crush them. To crush them. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to say. So when they see that you have discovered the law and the secret they have made. And then you are beginning to fight them and you are beginning to reveal their secret and you are beginning to fight them back. Now they begin to monitor you and they begin to eye you. Go to the next verse. Pastor Robert, let's go. And Saul eyed David from that day and forward. And Saul did what? I eyed David, David f- from, from that, that day, day what? and forward. Please rise up on, on your feet. We are going to pray. So, ask your neighbor. Say my neighbor. My neighbor. Who is eyeing you? Who is eyeing you? In your, in your father's house. In your father's house. And in your mother's house. And in your mother's house. Who is monitoring you? Who is monitoring you? When you are taking your children. When you are taking your children. To school. To school. Say who is eyeing you? Who is eyeing you? When you are going to work. When you are going to Say who is eyeing you? Who is eyeing you? When you are going to the bank. When you are going to the bank. Who is eyeing you? Who is eyeing you? When your husband. When your husband. Is coming to you. Is coming to you. Who is eyeing you? Who is eyeing you? When that miracle. When that miracle. When that breakthrough. When that breakthrough. Is coming. Is coming. Jesus. Let's go. Let's go back to Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 1. We will pick the prayer point from there. The Bible said, Moreover, and the spirit of the Lord lifted me up unto the city, unto the eastern gate of the world city. Say, oh God, oh God, tonight, tonight, I submit, I submit myself, myself to the power, to the power and the spirit, and the spirit of, God. of God. Say, oh God, oh God, tonight, tonight I, travel I travel to my father's house, to my, house, house, to my mother's house, to my mother's house, by the spirit, by the spirit. Hey, Jesus, listen to me. Tonight, I want to provoke you to pray. Provoke us. I want to provoke you to pray. The Bible said, and the spirit of the Lord lifted up the prophet. Listen, it will only take the spirit of God to reveal, to reveal certain secrets going on in your father's house. That's right. That you have no idea about. That's right. Say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus say, oh God, oh God, tonight, tonight may, I may I be lifted, be lifted by, the by the spirit of God, of God into my father's into house, my father's into house, my mother's into house. My mother's say, oh God, oh God, any demonic law, any demonic law that has been established in my father's house. In my mother's house, my mother's house, house operating, operating, working, working against, against my, life. my life. Oh God, oh God, by prayer, by prayer, I command, I command the laws, the laws to break, 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 Lift up your hands. 
Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, say any demonic, any demonic, satanic, satanic agreement, agreement that has been established and has become a law. Listen, Jesus, I said that every institution is governed by what laws. Every institution is governed by what laws. So whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, whether you know or you don't know, there are some laws operating in the family. That's right. Say father, father, any demonic, any demonic, satanic, satanic agreement, agreement that has gone on, that has gone on. demonic, demonic transaction, transaction that has gone on, that has gone on. Many, years many years in my father's house, my, my mother's house, before, before I was born, my prayer, my prayer, prayer as I clap as I and, pray, and pray, and pray, let the Lord, let the Lord break, 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 said 25 men that's right we're sitting on the city 
and passing laws and decrees. Right. And they have said that nobody in this city Jesus. will build a house. Right. Any evil man in your father's house. Jesus. Any evil man in your father's house. Jesus. Tonight, Jesus. by the prophetic mantle in this house, Jesus. I'll bow my knees Jesus. on the altar of my father. Jesus. And we command them to Jesus. perish. Jesus. We command them to perish. Amen. 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 Amen. Jesus. Lift up your hands. Jesus. Say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. say, I enter, I enter into my Father's house, into my father's house. By, the spirit. by the Spirit. Listen to me. Jesus. You cannot enter into your Father's house by the Spirit and you are standing where you are. That's right. Tell somebody the battle has changed. The battle has changed. Tell somebody switch, switch into the spirit. Into the spirit. Listen to me. The Bible said nobody can enter into a strong man's house unless he must first of all do what? Unless he must do what? Blind. Unless he must do what? Blind. Listen, and you cannot just enter into a strong man's house when you are not fortified and strong. They will kill you. You heard Pastor Nee's testimony. He was the strong man in his house. So when those two men entered into his house, by the spirit he did what? He killed them. Listen. Maybe when I was preaching, if you did not hear anything, hear this. Who controls the gates of your family, controls the lives and the destiny. And they determine who must come in and who must come out. That's right. So in other words, when that person is an evil man, he determines the kind of money that must come into the house. Right. So if you're a young man in that house and you are praying, believing God for a financial breakthrough, when they see that the breakthrough is coming, no idea, no idea. When they see that your marriage is coming, no idea, no idea. When they see that your breakthrough is coming, no idea, no idea. Because he is the strong man of what? Of the house. And they are making laws and they are passing decrees. I've said to myself that this year, whoever that must die for me to rise up, Jesus. let that person die. Amen. Say, Father, 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 in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say, I enter, I enter into my Father's house, into my Father's house, by the Spirit, by the Spirit, say, I enter, I enter into my Mother's house, by the Spirit, by the Spirit, say, I summon, I summon all my aunties, all my aunties, all my uncles, all my uncles, all my grandmothers, all my grandmothers, all the children, all the children, before the Lord, before the Lord, Jesus. Father, Father, anyone, anyone in the house, in the house, operating, operating with the spirit, with the spirit of witchcraft, of witchcraft. As if we we'll go to the next verse, quickly, the next verse, the next verse, quickly, 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 the next verse. Pastor Robert, let's go. Then said he unto me, uh -huh. Son of man, Son of man, these are the men that devise mischief. These are the men that devise what mischief? The mischief here, he's talking about witchcraft. That's right. And what? And give wicked counsel to this city. Say, Father, Father anybody, anybody in the house, in the house, or pretty, or pretty, with a spirit, with a spirit of witchcraft, of witchcraft. Oh, God, oh God, as I clap, as I clap and pray, and pray. Listen, Jesus. When we say when we clap and pray, fire. That's right. So what you say? If you don't kill them, they will do what? They will, they will come after you. That's right. So listen, this might be our last prayer point, and I'll pray for just two people. Say two people. Two, two people. And we are out of here, and our father will take over. That's right. Listen, this is our last prayer. This prayer will determine your next level. That's right. It's one bony age now, then it's now one also. Listen to me. Somebody must fall down for you to rise up. That's right. And this prayer determines determines who must fall. That's right. Say, oh God, oh God, as I summon them, as I summon them before the Lord, before the Lord, anyone, anyone who must come down, who must come down for me to rise up, for me to rise up, say by fire, by fire, say by fire, by fire, die, 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 die,
Five minutes. Amen. 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 Say, Father, Father, I thank you. I thank you for victory. For victory. Say, I will not. I will not be used for sacrifice. Be used for sacrifice by any witch, by any witch, or wizard, or wizard. Say, any accident, any accident. They are plotted. They are plotted for me. For me. Between now, between now, to Easter, to Easter, I overturn it. I overturn it. I overturn it. I overturn it. Anyone, anyone who wants to use me, who wants to use me for a sacrifice, for a sacrifice. This Easter, this Easter, by prayer, by prayer, I overturn it. 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 Oh God, by the supreme, by the supreme sacrifice, sacrifice of the blood, the blood of Jesus, of Jesus. I decree, I decree, and I declare, and I declare this Easter, this Easter, I will not, I will not be used. For a demonic sacrifice, sacrifice. Oh God, anyone, anyone who wants to use me for a sacrifice, sacrifice. this is the this is the my prayer. I overturn it. I overturn it. I overturn it. I overturn it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The the first group of people I want to pray for is that if you are here, and let's say you have lost either your mother. Or your father please come i want to pray for you like for instance i have lost my mother so i am standing in if you have lost either your father or your mother please come to me jesus or maybe either you have lost your your husband or anybody just come to me come to me wow come to me when i was praying in February and the Lord gave me a revelation and I said to the Lord this one I need an opportunity to do this and Papa before I had this opportunity I had a dream say I had a dream I had a dream and in the dream I saw something say something. something and the thing that I saw was good Jesus when I saw the good thing also for the other thing that I also saw was it will say evil evil but i prophesy no evil will happen to you amen say, no evil will happen to you amen those of you here lift up your hands jesus we do this in the next 90 seconds please come forward say father father in the name of jesus in the name of jesus say any spirit any spirit any demon any demon in my father's house in my father's house say any power any power that killed that kills my mother my mother my father my father my husband my husband in the family in the family say i declare i declare this year this year when they are looking for when they are looking for for my life for my life or anyone or anyone connected to me connected to me they will never have us they will never have they will never have us they will never have they will never have us they will never have us listen Jesus. In some families, eh, the covenant is that every five years somebody must die. In some family, eh, every one year every, somebody must die. I saw something in a dream and I began to pray about it and that thing manifested in my house. And I began to pray about it. That has been my prayer. I'm always fighting it. My mom died last year. She died very young at the flower of her age. You heard the sermon. She died at the flower of her age. My mom suffered so much for me and my siblings. And the time for her to enjoy life, they killed her. My mother would have been so much proud of me to see me preach today, but today she's nowhere. Because she did what? She died. There was a law operating in the family. Even though my mother was a righteous woman, she did not discover certain secrets and the thing fought her and they killed her. But I believe that God has raised somebody in the family 
to break the law and to break the chains and tonight that person is you amen i said tonight that person is you amen lift up your and say father father in the spirit in the spirit in the demonic covenant in the demonic covenant in my father's house in my father's house in my mother's house in my mother's house that is killing that is killing people people are the flower and the flower of their age of their age say oh god oh god as i connect as i connect to this altar to this altar let the covenant let the covenant break 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 Jesus. When I touch you, then you sit down. Break! Jesus. Break! Jesus. Please play some music at the background. Come on, let's go. doing here is a spiritual thing and please i don't want to come out from the altar by the by the instruction given to me by the holy spirit i don't want to step from the altar and do this i need to stand on the altar and break it so please walk to me break let's go and don't teach you last group of people i want to pray for is anytime something good is coming to you like an opportunity a marriage a breakthrough a contract anytime 
at a particular time in your life when you know that as for this one i am close to it i must grab it say grab it, grab it. say grab it. grab it and all of a sudden you miss it please come to me please come to me quickly you know these people what i want you to do is that please give me some envelopes okay the envelopes here listen to me the altar in this house will speak for you amen i said the altar in this house will speak for you amen. amen this is what i want you to do i want you to pick up a seed say a seed a seed okay let me show you something quickly here before first samuel chapter 26 verse 17 first samuel 26 verse 17 first samuel 26 verse 17 quickly please help us Saul recognized David's voice and said, Is that your voice, David, my son? David replied, Yes, uh -huh. it is, uh -huh. my lord the king. Uh -huh. Okay, next verse. And he added, Why uh -huh. is my lord pursuing his servant? Why is my lord pursuing his servant? What have I done? Uh -huh. And what wrong am I guilty of? And what wrong am I guilty of? This was Saul pursuing David. That's right. You know, and David was asking a question that, for what wrong have I done my Lord that he is doing what chasing after me? That's Next right. verse. Now let my Lord the King listen to his servant's words. Uh -huh. If the Lord has incited you against me. If the Lord has done what? Incited you against me. So in other words, David was trying to tell the, his Lord the King who was saw that if it is the Lord that has incited you to chase after me, then do what? Take this word, then accept this word, okay. offer it. Amen. Amen. So this is what it means. Anytime you are going through disappointment, anytime you are going through hardship, anytime you are going through challenges in your life that you can't explain, this is your offering you are going to lift up to the Lord. The Father, if it is your will, if it is your wish, that I will go through disappointment every day of my life, then take this offering. All of you here, I want you to take an offering of a hundred Ghana city or a fifty cities. Amen. Amen. If you have it here, you drop it on the altar. If you don't have it, you bring it either on Saturday or what? Sunday. Amen. Amen. So if you are here and you want to break that covenant, lift up your hands. If you are sitting down and I also prayed for you concerning any demonic spirit operating in your father's house that is killing people untimely, that you cannot explain. And I prayed for you and you want to do this. Please rise up on your feet. Please, everybody come for it. If you have yours here, you can do it now. All the pastors, please help me. Obia Ambeji, please, everybody come for it. If you have yours here, you come to me. If your seed is ready. Okay. If you have your seed here, please, you can take it and come to me. And let me pray for you before you drop it. If you don't have it here, you bring it either on Saturday or what? Sunday. You bring it either on Saturday or Sunday. So if you have your seat ready, please come to me. Please, if you have your seat ready, please come to me. Please, if you have your seat ready, come to me. If you have your seat, come to me. Just drop it on the water and say, break and then you can sit down. Tu 
Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Oh, I said you can clap your hands. If you come to church and hear a sermon like this, you ought to bless God for a sermon like this. Amen. Let's bless God for our pastor, Pastor Richard. Somebody clap. Can, oh. oh. Oh, can you bless God for his life? Wow. What a word. Tell somebody what a word. What a word. Say what a word. What a word. I, I, ask your neighbor who is standing at your gate. Who is standing at your gate? And ask the other neighbor who has spoken. Who has spoken? And has said. And has said. You can't build. You can't build. Or you can't drink the wine. Or you can't drink the wine. Somebody listen to me. Wine in this contest is not just going to drink an alcohol. Wine signifies celebration and merrymaking. That's right. That's why when people are happy, they drink wine. So it means if they don't want you to drink wine, it means you are not supposed to be happy. Wow, what a word. Can you bless God? Listen. As a prophet of God, I always hear the voice of God. God said, Daniel, his mother's one year anniversary is today. But I have put a word in his mouth. For him and for everyone else. Listen to me. You took the envelope. You know that there's a law in your family. You want a law to be broken. Come and drop the envelope right now. Wherever you are, come and drop that envelope. If you have not dropped the envelope yet, he mentioned 100 or 50. If you can do 20 or 10, everybody come and do it. The anointing I see here, it will be an error for you not to come and tap into it. Run and come and pick it right now. Come and pick, come and do it right now. If you don't have the envelope, come and drop it right now. Come and drop something. This kind of grace, everybody, if you have not dropped the seed, he called. Those who have the seed for the 150, Saturday, Sunday, you can bring it. But even that, if you have the 50 or 100 and you have not been able to do it, take a 20 or 10 and come and break it. Don't let this opportunity, don't let this opportunity or grace pass you by. Run, everybody, everybody. Run, come and do it. Wow. Come and drop it. I was reading the test for Samuel. And I saw the prime. So that's what the moment he said, there's flower. I said, the NIV is the prime. Why would people have to die in the prime? it will never be in your family it will never come and drop it everybody if you know that there's no law in your family don't try don't even come but if, if you feel there's a law and someone is standing at your gate come right now they are the gates and they're making an order devising with the wicked counsel against the city wow what a word, what a word. What a word, what a word. Everybody. What a word. He says, and Saul was iron. You only got the information to preach last night. Pastors like military academy. I don't give you one week to prepare. I don't give you five days to prepare. I never give you two days to prepare. I give you less than 24 hours. Yes, last night, I said, Pastor Ning, tell Pastor Richard he will preach. Because you're supposed to know. Have you been reading your Bible? That's right. So, if it, which means if you don't read your Bible, then forget it. It's like the whole semester you didn't read, and exam is tomorrow. What's he? What feeling? Wow. Father, we bless these offerings. 